hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how you can edit this portrait step by step so first thing first as you can see we need to clean this portrait first so we have to go to actions and click clean after we have clicked clean and play you can see we have two layers one of them is black and white which helps us to clean and this clean layer which is a duplicated background so for clean we are gonna use three different tools as you can see it's spot healing brush healing brush and patch tool i'm just gonna start with this one as you can see we have started to clean this portrait with spot healing brush but i will switch between uh, three different tools with J, K and L. I made these shortcuts for a faster work. Uh, by the way, if you wanna retouch this portrait like I'm doing right now, you have to get my retouching action pulled back. Recently I have made a, a new pack for, for you guys. You can find the link in the description, uh, including the retouching action pull pack, also the color grade white skin and dark skin. So for today we're gonna use only the white skin color grades. So be sure to check the link in the description so you can get the actions. Uh, as you can see so far we have cleaned this part but we're gonna leave some parts for later because we are gonna use a different technique for today this is a faster technique for retouching uh, it's more for makeup beauty portraits and for example if you have like 10 20 maybe 30 images retouch you can use these tools that i'm going to show you today for a faster work uh, for example this part of the nose we're going to copy the black color which is showing and with a brush we're just going to paint it over there and we're going to clean the hair in the nose You have to copy the color first because you don't want to create something something bad. Uh, don't forget to clean this part too. And maybe some little stuff. Let's just check before and after. And I think this part is looking good. Uh, for the hair. I'm just gonna use the patch tool here and I think that here is looking good uh, this portrait is kind of blurry and this is the reason why I'm doing this tutorial because for example if you have pictures like this because sometimes you can lose it when you're photographing the models or beauty portraits kind of stuff for example makeup portraits etc etc you can use this technique uh, after you have done the cleaning you have to merge the two layers click merge as you can see the before and after we have done the cleaning now go to frequency separation plus click play and choose the radius for this portrait i think 10 would nope 10 is not that good i think 8 will be good click ok add some dodge and burn and click on eyes plus all in click continue also add some rosy lips and cheeks also some digital skin texture close this go to frequency separation plus and start working 
on the low frequency. For this part, you have to use a mixer brush with wet of 10%, load by 22, mix 50, flow 33, maybe 20, something like that, and start mixing the skin tones in this portrait. Now, for the moment, I'm using the Wacom Intuos Pro. I'm not using a mouse because with a, a graphic pen, uh, there are different types out there, but I think the best is that Wacom Intuos Pro, which I'm using right now. This is kind of hard if you do that with a mouse. So, if you want to make your retouching workflow faster, you have you have to get a, a pen tablet. I highly recommend you guys to get the uh, Wacom Intuos Pro because it's really a great Wacom tablet. Uh, that is really 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 nice for retouching I used to work with a mouse before but when I switched into the Wacom Intuos Pro I can tell you guys that my workflow was increased for like 10 times faster and I'm not lying for that because when you use a pen your workflow is gonna go like really 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 smooth let's just check before and after this whole process of frequency separation and yeah I think it's looking amazing uh, now we have to work a little bit on the neck part because We don't want to make this portrait look strange. For example, people who work only on the face and don't do that in the neck or maybe chest, uh, the portrait doesn't look that good. And I suggest you to work in the both parts because you don't want to retouch only on the face because it's. Uh, not gonna turn that good and people will notice that you have worked in the face and they can see that you didn't in the neck I'm talking about professionals because if you're posting the before and after results on the social media and the groups of retouching people gonna tell you that you have done something not that good so be sure to work in both parts as a check before and after and i think it's looking amazing just this part i think that we have to redo this because the shadow is not looking that good and now i think it's really really nice And now it's time to work in the texture, but I think that we have done that in the cleaning part. For, for cleaning, I'm using Clone Stamp tool, and I just copy paste the skin texture here and there. Uh, as I said before in some tutorials, when you do the retouching, you have to clean the image first. So you have less work to worry about in frequency or maybe in touch and burn. So be sure that you are cleaning in the correct ways. And you have less work in frequency or in touch and burn. And I think that skin is looking, uh, skin texture is looking good. Let's just check before and after this whole process and yeah it's looking great 
and I think that I'm just gonna remove this dimple here because it's looking strange. Usually I don't remove them, but I think in this portrait is not looking that good. And as you can see before and after with frequency, I think that we are done. Now go to dodge. And first you need a black and white hell player if you want to dodge and burn in correct ways. Turn this off, sorry, darken. Nope. Just reduce the opacity of this because it's looking really dark. And start working in the dodge with a brush with 10% of opacity and do some dodging in the highlight parts. I think I need a little bit of dodge. This part of the nose. Uh, for the neck, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch it because it's looking good already, and there is no that much highlights in there because of the shadows, because the light is facing facing up. And let's just check before and after of this process. Just don't forget to reduce the opacity of this new saturate. And also the group of a city. Let's just check before and after. Yeah, it's looking good. Now it's time for burn. Click on layer mask with a brush. And let's just start burning some shadows, some cheeks, maybe some shadows here. Let's just check before and after. And yeah, I guess it's looking really, really nice. Now it's time for the eyes. I'm not, I'm not gonna touch the eyes that much, so I'm just gonna work a little bit. This one is for removing the veins and blur a little bit the red color. Um, this one is for brightening. Brightening is for the white of the eyes. And this one is eyeball, eyeball, sorry. And this one is for the contours. This one is my favorite because it creates a depth of field in the eyes. And this is the reason I like it. Let's just check before and after the group. And as you can see, it's looking really much and reduce the opacity of this. Check before and after. And I think that it's still too much. Check before and after this group. Reduce the opacity of the group because it won't, we don't want to make that much changes. As you can see, we have done a great job for the moment. Now it's time for the lips. I'm just gonna add some color. Kind of into pink, into red. As you can see, we are painting on the lips. Let's just check before and after. Uh, as you can see, it's too much, but we have to reduce. But first, we are going to duplicate this and make a soft light blending mode and choose 15, something like that. And the opacity for the first one, I think that is going to be 25. Let's just check before and after. And make a group of these, rename lips. As you can see, it's too much, but we have to reduce the opacity of the group. Now go to rosy cheeks and add some color. And we have done like too much, 
but we have to reduce the opacity of this. I'm just gonna delete this part because <clears throat> it's looking really much and reduce the opacity of course something like 20 i think it's good let's just check before and after and yeah i think it's looking good uh this layer is for skin texture if you want to add a little bit oh sorry as you can see i'm working on the texture and not on the blending uh, layer mask sorry we have to go back on history and start working on the layer mask so be careful when you work on the layers because sometimes you can make mistakes and you will not notice them until you check on the layers as i did right now so be careful when you are working with layers and layer masks As you can see, this is a texture and I think it's looking good, but we have to reduce the opacity of this into 25, I guess it's okay. Let's just check before and after and I think it's looking good. Now go here and create two empty layers. From blending mode normal, uh, go to soft light, zoom in, copy this pink color and we are gonna add a little bit more color here for the sake of makeup artist do that in both of the eyes because uh, this kind of makeup is looking really nice but I'm just gonna add a little bit more and before and after yeah it's looking really nice but of course it's too much so just reduce it go to this another layer and blending mode from normal choose green and copy this color which is more brighten and start working on this part this is more like a dodge but with the color of the makeup as you can see check before and after and as I said before when it's too much is too much just reduce the opacity of this Create another empty layer, blending mode from normal to multiply. This one is more for the burn, so we are just gonna add some burn with the color, as you can see, that we have copied before. And I think it's looking good. Let's just check before and after. As always, too much, so just reduce. Uh, create a group of this and check before and after if you think it's too much reduce the opacity of the group close this check before and after of this whole process and we just bring this portrait into life duplicate the background layer hold shift click here rename the group retouch Duplicate the group and merge the group. Uh, Control A, Control C to copy. Go to File, New. And I think this is the right document. Nope. We have to close this. Uh, go back again to Control A, Control C for copy. Go to File, New. Create, Control V for paste and as you can see we have a single layer uh, because my color grading actions work only on the one layer which is a background so we are gonna find the best color grade here let's just check them one by one and yeah this one i think is looking good so i'm just gonna drag and drop this group into the original file and find another color grade because I'm gonna mix them uh, this one is looking good but not for this portrait 
Uh, this one is okay. You have to play with the layers until you find the best color grade. As you can see, before and after is looking good, but not for today. Uh, this one is okay. Uh, this one is looking good, of course, but and this one is looking good. I guess I'm just gonna drag and drop this color grade group. Uh, but I think that I'm just gonna add one more. As I said, you have to play with the files inside the group. I think that I'm just gonna go with these two color grades. I'm just gonna drag and drop, create a copy of this, close the actions and play with the layers until you get the best color grading you think is okay for the, your portrait. And as you can see, the opacity of this is too much, but I think that is looking good. I'm just gonna reduce to 20 and play with your layers. This one is too much, so I'm just gonna reduce it. Let's just check what uh, this one is looking good, but not this time. I'm just gonna let it with opacity by 2025. Check before and after this. And yeah, I think it's looking good. And check this other color grade group. And I think that I'm just gonna go one by one until I find my best color grade. Check before and after with this group. And I think it's looking good. Just reduce the opacity of this. And I'm gonna add some adjustments here. Go to color balance and duplicate the color balance layer by drag and drop or control J. Sorry for that. Uh, click here. For blending mode, I'm just gonna go to soft light and work on the midtones. I'm just gonna turn them into yellow, kind of red, and reduce the opacity of this. Let's just check it, and I think it's looking good. And for this one, we're gonna let it into normal. Go to highlights and make it into yellow because I really love this kind of color grade, and I think it's looking good. Let's just make them a group, hold shift and click group from layers and rename this color grade or CC. Let's just check before and after and yeah, I think it's looking really, really nice. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this and merge it. Sorry, merge the group. Turn off this group layer and let's just zoom in. If you want to see the before and after this whole process this is before this is after a touch and this one is after color grade as you can see before and after before and after and as you can see guys i think that you have done an amazing job here and please don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below also drop some likes into this video because of the algorithm and don't forget to check the links i put in the description so if you want to get my retouching actions uh, recently i've made a cool pack with color grades and you can get uh, that action into the description so don't forget to check all the links i put down below and for this raw file you have to join my telegram channel and you can find the files in the telegram channel as i said and thanks for watching and see you in the next one peace